This video reviews two applications of trigonometry. Now the first one is linked to a right angled triangle. We're told two sides and we're asked to find an angle x. So the method here is to label the sides as either opposite, adjacent or hypotenuse. Now that's the hypotenuse. This side here is next to the angle, so that's the adjacent. And this side here is opposite the angle, so that's the opposite. Now then, so katoa is a way to remember equations to use with right angle triangles when you've got two sides and an angle. Now I know the opposite and the adjacent, so therefore O and A, I'm going to use the toa part. And toa stands for the following. Tan of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. Now then, my angles are known, so I've got tan of x, and this must equal the opposite over the adjacent. So to find x, I have to do inverse tan, so tan to the minus 1, of 7 over 12. So I enter that into my calculator, so shift tan to get inverse tan, 7 divided by 12, and from that I get x is equal to 30 point three degrees to three S F. So so Cartoa gives us three equations to use for right angled triangles. Now then, in the second problem there are no right angles and I'm asked to find side Y. Now what's special here is that the side is opposite that angle there and this side is opposite that angle there. And so this means that I can use what's called the sine rule. Now here's what the sine rule states. If I get my unknown side, so y, then y over sine of 40, the ratio of side over sine angle, is the same as the ratio of that side, 18, over sine of this angle, 110. So the sine rule says ratio of side over sine angle is equal to side over sine angle. If you pair of opposites. So to find y, I have to times by sine 40. So 18 over sine 110 times by sine of 40. So if I enter into my calculator, 18 divided by sine 110 times by sine of 40, and I get y equals 12.3 centimetres to 3 sf. 